At 6 a.m. on our final morning, I came up to relieve Mark, and as you can see, we were clearly right in the middle of that Invest 96. It was never given a name as a tropical storm, but as you can see, it still brought quite a lot of wind and rain and lightning. So we were dodging these squalls for the final evening. That was one hell of a watch. Uh, I just came up, I was asleep, and Mark, Mark was on watch. We had a bit of lightning behind us. Uh, we've got 24 knots true of wind. Uh, we're going about nine, 10 knots now. Uh, we're almost there. But this last night has not been an easy one. We've got about eight foot seas, uh, sometimes kind of breaking on the side of the boat. Lightning, uh, it's been a really rough, last two days, but uh, we're almost there. Some big waves. We've got an unusual sail plan here. We've got a stay sail and a half of Genoa. Don't really know what to do. The uh, stay sail was up because of the high winds, but now uh, it's really hard to bring down. So we've just uh, left it up there and then added some stay sail because now we're headed a little bit downwind actually. We're winds right on the beam at about 100, 100 degrees. So a little bit behind us, which gives us a ton of speed in this wind. So we're going 10 knots uh, with about 19 apparent. Uh, so it's been an interesting night. Finally, nice to see day. Uh, and this is our last day, last couple of hours. Probably it says, Eight more hours, nine more hours, and we will be in the BVI's. So the boys are happy, they're just chilling. And my wife is playing with Legos. Okay, wait, you gotta see, wait, you gotta come back because this is gonna, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> What are you doing? Well, they were here a second ago, but this is going to be really good. But you have to come back. Pretty impressive. <laughs> Look at the size of that squall. That squall is sitting right on top of Tortola. Of course, it can't be easy. We got to get through that. like it could pack a punch, so we just decided to bring all the sails down, go into it bare pole. Okay, this is when you, uh, there's nothing you can do about it. I know, there's nothing. I mean, you get struck by lightning or you don't. Yeah. I've got the set on the inReach, my cell phone all in the microwave. Oh, 
40. This is a gale. Boys, yeah. Drink the water, yeah. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. And as quick as the storm came, it disappeared. I see land. You do? Yeah. Where? Where's land? Land to hoe. What, Reese? Land to hoe. Land to hoe. That doesn't look too hours. It doesn't look two hours away. I know, it looks closer. Reese, that was a very enthusiastic land ho. Can I tell you who actually saw land first? That guy. Land ho! He spotted it. Did it land? Thank God. We did it. We did it. Thank God. We got land. Oh my God. Thank the Lord. I am so happy to be back. It's been a hard one. We also had a bit of damage. We tore our, our UV shade on our jet. We broke our navigation chair. We broke a door magnet holding a door open. Plus we break. Our mind. Our, we broke, we broke. Maybe our marriage and, and uh, family bonding. <laughs> this has been a tough one. It's always tough. The Caribbean 1500 is a tough one. It's the Barfy dog. That's what the kids are referring to it as. The Barfy, the Barfy dog 1500. Uh, what is it? What are you doing? Hell, are you ready? Why is the water so green? I'm glad you're not wearing the flippers yet. Beautiful. Isn't it? You're not excited to go snorkeling, are you? Yes, we are. It is right here. We set out as a family with a goal, a goal to sail 1,500 nautical miles offshore and to arrive in paradise. I think it was a lot harder than we thought it would be, and even then, we arrived third in our fleet, in some cases days before the others arrived. But what we learned, though, was that we could do it. Our boat was up to the challenge. With the support of each other and the help of our friend and trusted skipper Mark, we realized we were too. We came out the other end stronger, more trusting, and closer than we've ever been. We made it. Welcome to the BVI's.